Researchers are calling it a major scientific breakthrough. They have discovered a way to create stem cells by converting adult cells back to their younger state. In the journal Nature, scientists from Japan and Harvard University explained that they conducted their research on mice. They used a program called Stimulus Triggered Acquisition of Pluripotency, or STAP, which exposes the cells to acid. Through real-time imagery, they realized the STAP cells reprogrammed and showed a substantial decrease in DNA methylation. The stab cells are capable of turning into just about any cell in the body from skin to lungs. NBC reports researchers created a mouse embryo heart completely out of the cells. A researcher not involved in the study told Live Science if the findings are replicated, this result has the potential to be very significant. But just how significant? Do we dare to start talking about this as some kind of game changer? Yes, I think that's right. And now we have this super simple process, just dipping them in acid, and we convert them back again to this embryonic stem cell-like cell very quickly, very cheaply. Yeah, it is a game changer. Researchers also discovered squeezing or puncturing the cells can have a similar effect. Stem cell research has been a topic of controversy in the past because some of it requires taking the cells from human embryos. But this new finding seems to be a way around that. However, one researcher points out, it's going to be a while before the nature of these cells are under stood and whether they might prove to be useful for developing therapies, but the really intriguing thing to discover will be the mechanism underlying how a low pH shock triggers reprogramming and why it does not happen when we eat lemon or vinegar or drink cola. But this isn't the only stem cell discovery making news Wednesday. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania say they were able to convert one type of adult stem cells into the type of stem cells found on tissue that covers the body. Those cells have many potential applications, including regrowing hair. This most recent study poses questions about whether the findings can be helpful for humans, as only cells from mice were observed. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.